1606.28. This will be a video mix number 170. 170. I feel the need to do this video to help other people living here in Gran Canaria who are from other countries than Spain. It's now the second or third time I got really angry. Every year the same problem with the health insurance. I only want to visit my mom in Germany for two or three months and I need to ask for permission to just have covered emergencies in Germany. So I have to go to social insurance office to ask for this permission. And here in the south of Gran Canaria, San Fernando, Light Inglés, Las Palomas, um, is uh, only on Mondays uh, some mobile office and is so very bad organized. Uh, oh. Now, yesterday I went for the second time. Uh, one week ago I spent the whole morning waiting and in the end uh, you have to get numbers. So yesterday I w got up very early in the morning and took the number and anyway they started to work. Three hours later uh, I went 7.30 and at 10.30 they started to work. And in the end, they said, ah, I have to come back next Monday again. Joder. But I don't have time till next Monday. My flight goes this Sunday. So uh, then he said, ah, maybe I can go to Vecindario, which is uh, about, now I, I'm waiting for the bus to go there. It's about uh, 20 or half an hour. So, oh. Once again, the whole day lost is incredible. And this is just for to have covered emergencies. Because already in uh, oh, uh, 2010, I had an emergency and I had to spend very much money uh, out of my own pocket. Uh, <laughs> in Germany even they didn't even have a look at my problem and they they charged me incredible anyway I think um, try to get into the German system because uh, as I explained in uh, my video number 158 in English um, planning mastectomy and hysterectomy and, and the testosterone treatment at the moment I'm uh, now running out of testosterone I just bought it uh, out of my own pocket without state help and without state permission I asked my doctor uh, twice uh, to give me uh, but she said, oh, no, 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 no. I asked her, ah, uh, so will they put me into a prison if I buy it over internet? Uh, and she said, no, or will they confiscate my little money I have? Uh, she said, no, but I, had, oh, okay, and then I, t I told her, I, I'm not sure with, with which voice I'm coming back. By the way, did you notice, I think my voice had, has changed already a little. Now I'm about almost three weeks on testosterone. But I'm so very busy, all the preparations for uh, so many things to do before the, the travel, or especially the, the health care. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't even have time to look at the mirror if they have come some hairs. <laughs> Anyway, 
the most obvious change in my body will just be my voice. I think, okay, my body will get stronger, but in the end, I think I will keep this more or less the same clothing style because inside of me, I, I feel masculine. But uh, <laughs> okay, I like to talk with women and men, but I don't feel very lesbian. Anyway, I have so many things to do. Uh, dating is uh, very low in my list at the moment, really. On my very long to-do list. Just last night, I <laughs> answered a message a writing, ah, mañana otra vez despertador. <laughs> eh, a una hora en que las calles eh, no están puestas todavía uh, translating uh, tomorrow alarm clock uh, again and the streets are not already uh, put <laughs> it's it's too early <laughs> to use the streets <laughs> it's so annoying if you are not accustomed to get up so early it's oh and uh, in the end, okay, if in the end you have what you you are going for, it's okay. But uh, if you are wasting so many mornings getting up early, it's so very annoying. It's incredible. Now I'm going to Vecindario. I see. Uh, oh. Yeah, now I have arrived in Vecindario, uh, Seguridad Social and I'm going to record what they answer me. So just now I left the office of uh, Social Security Seguridad Social in Vecindario and now finally, finally they gave me that fucking paper permission to have the insurance uh, emergency in Germany covered medical emergencies. I think this is important to know for other people, uh, foreigners in, here in Spain. Often they say, ah, one week before, but then, uh, then they tell, yeah, you have to come back next week, but then the, the flight goes already. It's, it's really, oh. So you better go here to Vecindario. And I asked to, um, the, if you have a fixed contract, and it's very little proba proba probable that they make contract uh, contrato fijo here in, in Spain, then you can have the uh, Tarjeta Europea Sanitaria, the European normal uh, card which gives you permission to go to a uh, doctor. Uh, so uh, in the end, uh, many people I think will get this problem now several years Oh, really? So you better forget about going there to, to San Fernando. It's so much wasted time and you get really so angry because you... Okay, I said it already. Waiting for nothing. <laughs> for to get a kick in the ass, to put the alarm clock very early in the morning and they start working three hours later, uh, put the alarm clock to... to Arschlecken, <laughs> German, but kissing. It seems to me that it's like a trick they try, uh, especially with the foreigners, uh, to not pay because they tell them one week before the flight. So then they go to that office in San Fernando and then they tell them, ah, you have to come back next week. This is a trick that they try to not to pay in emergency. And this is not the first year I, I have that problem. Uh, already once 
I, it was too short before my flight and then I went in the end without any insurance, medical insurance to Germany. Heard it. I, I was so nervous about that problem, so now it's really time to tell my opinion about this situation.